Welcome to Think Green. I'm Susan Stark. We're at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore and there's a spooky buzz in the air. Come on, I dare you to stay with us. Boo! Plant and animal populations are rapidly declining, with many species becoming extinct faster than ever before. Today, about a thousand species are lost to extinction every week. Habitat destruction, hunting, and climate change are expected to wipe out a third of all species by the turn of the century, or sooner. Scientists are calling this a mass extinction event. Extinction is a natural process, and research shows that hundreds of thousands of plant and animal species have disappeared over time. However, the extinction rate today may be more than 1,000 times the normal biological rate of 1 to 10 species extinctions per year. This rapid extinction rate is due to a range of factors caused by a human population that increased from 2 billion to almost 7 billion in just one century. Plus, over-exploitation of natural resources, hunting, pollution, habitat loss, and global climate change. Many scientists believe the planet is in the midst of a mass extinction event not seen since the dinosaurs were wiped out 65 million years ago. Developing appreciation of wild animals is an important goal for the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore, but they are also in the forefront of species conservation. Without their efforts to save endangered animals, we would have lost the opportunity of seeing a lot of these animals already going extinct in the wild. And with me is Meredith Wagner, Mammal Collection and Conservation Manager. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having us today. In our lifetime, we have greatly accelerated the natural rate of extinction far beyond what we've ever seen before. Why is this happening now? The human population is exploding, and so we have a lot of humans in animal areas that didn't used to be there. So a lot of these problems, um, poaching, uh, the bushmeat trade, just you know, general loss of habitat is coming from just the human population explosion. Why is it important for the survival of all these animals that are going extinct? Lots of different reasons. Um, one of them is really to get folks out there caring about animals, you know. Seeing an elephant up close, I mean, you talk about the forefront, here we have Dolly the elephant right up here, and you know, it really makes a difference having people being able to come out and see them, then they'll care about conservation. The other really important thing to remember is that some of these species, um, elephants and polar bears, they're a flagship species for their ecosystem, and these are really important ecosystems, um, even for human survival. You know, the rainforests provide us with amazing amounts of oxygen. How is it chosen between which species we save versus the ones we don't? That's a really good question. Um, here at the zoo, all of our sort of efforts towards that are based around recommendations by the American Zoological Association, the AZA. Um, and so they decide which ones are the species that are most in need of conservation, and then they pass their directives on to us. I think people always thought a zoo was more of an attraction place. You just go there to see the animals, it's all fun and games. But th you guys are very important when it comes to the conservation of these animals. Yeah, zoos play an amazingly important role and that's really only been in probably the last 15 or 20 years um, that zoos have been getting into uh, the sort of conservation game. And our first and foremost, we provide literally a safe haven for these animals. You know, they're not going to get poached here, they're not going to get encroached on. Um, but we also have very strict captive breeding programs to make sure that numbers and genetics stay as healthy as possible. Um, we foster a lot of conservation efforts in the wild um, through research that we do here and also through monetary funds. Do you think people are aware of the kind of environmental crisis that we are in right now? Do you think that we're still in kind of a denial that this is actually as serious as it is? I think there is a lot of mixed messaging out there um, and some of it's still pretty controversial. I think people are starting to come around to the, the simple fact that we are having an impact as humans on uh, the natural environment. And the more people realize that, you know, you don't have to have a strong opinion on global warming. You don't have to have a strong opinion on the bushmeat trade. But if you can realize that we are making an impact um, and sort of use that to guide your actions and guide your, uh, you know, the legislation that you support and stuff like that, that's a fantastic first step. Extinction is not just a problem of loss of species, but it's a problem with loss of population. What kind of effect will that have on us? Interesting question. I think 
part of the way that we relate to um, to animals in the environment is as uh, as a resource for us. You know, there'll be a time in the future, possibly the near future, where you can't go out as a tourist and see polar bears in the wild or penguins in the wild or especially Panamanian golden frogs in the wild. You know, we won't we'll lose any of the ways that these could have benefited us as a human population um, for medical research and those things. And again, the, some of, losing some of these flagship species means that we're also losing the habitats that um, we depend on as a human population. For more information, log on to MarylandZoo.org. You can support any of the animals that reside at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore by giving a charitable gift to adopt an animal program. Your contributions go directly into helping them to continue their extraordinary work in the conservation and care of our favorite animals.